Hi there. Hi. Good to see you here. In our living room, yes. Yes. And I know that lately you've been working on very, very hard on a new project. And I thought I would give you an opportunity to tell everybody about it briefly. Well, <laughs> briefly, yeah. <laughs> um, we have been working on a new project. It's a new puppy raising initiative. Um, essentially, it's the same information as I've always been saying, but what is new is that uh, present day technology now makes this doable. I mean, I mean here's the thing it's kind of like imagine. Imagine if before people went out to look for a puppy, they consulted with a dog trainer. I mean, that would be dreamy in and of itself. It, it really would. Or if they went to an open paw shelter and they volunteered and learned how to train dogs before they selected one. And so, so basically, the problem has always been that trainers have the answers, they have the information, shelter workers have the answers, they have the information, and they know what goes wrong if that information is not followed. But neither trainers nor shelter workers have early access to puppies like breeders, veterinarians, and pet store owners. So the initiative is to bring these five professions together so that breeders, veterinarians, and pet store owners strongly recommend that prospective and new puppy owners consult with a trainer before they get the puppy, immediately afterwards in an in-the-home uh, consultation to check the errorless you know, house training and chew toy training, and of course to enroll in puppy class. That it's so important that this stuff is done early on and, and basically we simply, we just aren't doing it. We, I think we're just wasting the, the socialization period when, when the dog is so sensitive to learn and when his temperament can be changed. And I think this is the thing that people have forgotten. Yes, we know we can change behavior, but we've forgotten that temperament is not set in stone, you know, it is not immutable. You can change the temperament, you can make puppies more confident, less boisterous, and so on and so on. And so the exciting thing is that now we have these two free books on Dogstar Daily that we've had for ages, and in the initiative, I'm imploring all the dog professions to download these books, to customize them with their own business name and contact information and email them to all their colleagues worldwide and all their clients, urging them to forward them on to every doggy person they know. So it's the consolidation of a kind of a uniform set of advice that is set to help puppies become you know, the, best, the best adult dogs they can, which then prevents shelter animals. Yes, I, I think now, you know, looking back over being in this field for 40 years, it's very easy for me to see now what's important and what's urgent and who should be doing what. The, um, you know, breeders should be doing this, veterinarians should be doing this, pet store owners this, and, and so on and so on and so on. And it's very easy to get this information out there. That, that's the thing that's been missing up to now, getting the information out there. But now we have the ability to, you know, get it to hundreds of thousands of people. The, the, the magic of, of, I don't know, new media or just technology in general, I guess. You know. it, it is. It, um, and it can do so much good and so quickly. I mean, literally, we could do this in the next three months if everyone emailed these books to every doggy person that they know. So then someone, when they're thinking of getting a puppy, they at least know the questions to ask the breeder and what they have to do when they get it home. To me, that's when a dog is made or broken. The first few weeks that the puppy is in the owner's home. Well, excellent. We Hopefully, people will um, we'll check out the material. I'll have links to the material at the bottom of this vlog. I hope so, and thank you if you do. Thank you. Bye-bye.